Proletains, 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 Proletains. <laughs> What's up, guys? This is another great episode of the Anime Breakdown Show. I'm your host, VX Kingpin XV, and today we're gonna jump right into it. Uh, today was another great episode of the Young Justice Invasion uh, called Alienated. Um, this was a really good episode. This is gonna set the stepping stone for a lot more to come. Um, it started off, uh, with the bang and, uh, you know, uh, the bee, the, you know, the insect, uh, duo, uh, the, the, the black guy and the black girl chasing a, a proletarian, uh, who was making himself look like some guy who works at the, uh, local IHOP in the back in the kitchen, um, which is stopped by the local IHOP guy in the back in the kitchen, uh, strangely enough, but, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot of weird stuff going on. Come to find out, we finally see Aqualad. What the hell's going on with him? Um, I got a couple of things about Aqualad. Uh, we don't want to get into it just quite yet. Uh, but what happens is they end up finding out where the Krolentian base is. Miss um, Martian uh, ends up doing her mind, mind fuck and saying, <laughs> And she takes it out of the Krolentian without his permission. Superboy's like, I better be there with you. And I'm thinking to myself, Obviously, they either knew she was going to do this, or she just did it without their permission, but nobody's questioning this, but Superboy doesn't like the fact that she's basically just taking whatever the fuck she wants to take, and everybody's cool with that, you know, just basically making these things into a vegetable as she see fit, which, I don't know, maybe that's cool, maybe that's not, who the hell knows. Um, moving forward past that, um, they end up finding where the base is, they end up doing their their uh, sneaky, sneaky stuff with uh, Batman, everybody, all of them end up getting there, um, come to find out they end up, uh, Aqualad end up discovering that they were there, a bomb is placed, Aqualad's like, blood is thicker than seawater, <laughs> and when he says it, I'm thinking to myself, what happened, what happened, well, come to find out, Tula died on the mission, some girl who didn't like him, uh, maybe they ended up together, in the near future that we didn't get to see, but some g girl named Tula that ended up with his best friend, Holderon, from the past episodes, ended up being there. Like, whoa. And now, she dies, and he blames it on the team. And everybody's like, dude, it was a fucking mission. Then you had the goon boy say, don't coddle him. Um, <laughs> and it's all getting all crazy, crazy, crazy. Every shit's happening, shit's happening. And they have to make a decision whether to go after him or save the rest of everybody else. So finally, they have to make a decision to save everybody else, this, that, and the other. But there wasn't badass fight scenes. You had Superboy and Superman working together. You had all of the um, Bat team working together. You had Miss Martian. You had, you had everybody. Everybody was kicking ass, taking names. Um, they were more in sync with their older counterparts than they have ever been in the past. Uh, that was pretty neat to see. Um... You know, so after all this happened, come to find out, uh, Greenlander was sitting on a mission to find out where were they doing those 16 hours because they were attacking some city and said, we're from the Earth in the Justice League. And this is why the Crotanes ever came there. Anyway, we're a badass race of people. Don't fuck with us. And they ended up, like, literally killing all these people, this, that, and the other. So now they have to go on an intergalactic trial for their lives. And, uh iconic man he's like an intergalactic lawyer and he's going to get them off you know and say they wasn't you know in control of themselves whatever that means um they're gonna move forward uh things are gonna more things are gonna probably transpire in the next episode to come it's gonna be some really good shit and then you have this scene at the very end where you see all of their counterparts you got uh super uh bat uh batman nightwing robin batgirl you got Superman and Superboy. You got uh, Miss Martian and uh, Martian Manhunter. You got uh, Hawk Girl and his husband. And you got Wonder Woman and Wonder Girl. She's like, don't be a fan girl, be a Wonder Girl. But anyway, that's 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 what happened during the fight. But anyway, um, you see Superman finally accept uh, Superboy as his equal. Not only his equal, his brother, and his name is Connell. Um, that's, that's, that must be his Kryptonian name, Connell. uh, but, you know, who cares, um, this was a, another great episode, things happen, 
shit's going to continue to happen. It's going to be getting better in the future. We're going to really enjoy this. But as always, you guys, rate, comment, subscribe. Do your thing below. Let me know what you guys think of what kind of shit happened. And why is Aqualad, you know, now you see the little things on his neck. And he can get under the sea. Then you see his father, Black Manta, right? Because we all discovered that's his father. And then he got some African stuff in the background. So is he from land or he's from sea? I'm thinking his dad didn't have any of that stuff. So is he even black? I mean, what is he? He's got, got you know, fucking peroxide hair. You guys let me know what you guys think of that. Anyway, do your thing below. Peace.